What on earth is that? Okay, so just so we're clear, John just kind of ordered whatever. Look at this. I have never seen wings like this before. Hey everyone, it's Ria with a new video, something a little bit different this time around. Today we've been invited to Vancouver to check out the opening of Club Kitchen. It's essentially a space where you can order all kinds of different dishes and dinner and lunch and whatnot, and you don't have to go all over the place. So apparently you can just one-stop shop for your meals. So today myself and John, who's behind the camera, we're gonna go check out and see what they've got on order. They have some chicken and stuff out already, so I'm gonna give it a try. John tried it and he said it was really good, but um, it's a little, you said it was a bit spicy, right? No. Oh, it's not spicy. I, I know, they're, didn't have the spicy one. They're marked spicy, so one of, look, one of them is more spicy, one of them is not. So I'm gonna try the non-spicy one first and see how that is. Okay, that wing was really good. I'm gonna try the spicy one now and see if that one's any good. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they were both pretty good, but I think I like the non-spicy one a little bit more. I could get a bit more of the flavor in the non-spicy one, but I wouldn't be upset if I was served both. The non-spicy one was super juicy and tender and delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. It's like 20 degrees out here. Like it's hot in there, it's hot out here, but we are currently trying some sushi by, uh, I believe it's Hello Nori. And they're one of the different kitchens that are available here at Club Kitchen. So I'll just show you what's on my plate. Got all sorts of different kinds of sushi here. There's the pressed sushi and just some standard rolls, but it looks really good. We are gonna go ahead and take a bite and see how this goes. I, I can't say I've ever really had awful sushi, maybe once, and that was in, no, I can't remember if we've ever had really bad sushi. Not here at least. Not here. I haven't had horrible sushi in Vancouver. I feel like it's more of a chore to find bad sushi than it is to actually like inadvertently be served bad sushi. So let's see what we got here. This is kind of like their kappa roll. Looks really good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm not sure what's in this one, but it looks like, I'm gonna guess it's like crab, some kind of seafood mayo mix, but it looks really good. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really good. Okay, whatever was in that was really, really tasty. I need to find out what that is, and I need to come back and order it. <laughs> We've got these two pressed sushi. Let's see how they taste. Mmm. That is good. It's nice and smoky. It really does remind me of the OG pressed sushi, which these guys did a really good job and they knocked it out of the park. Here's the last one. Mm. What the hell? That is so good. Wow. Wow. I've actually never had Hello Nori before, so I need to try them out. I've seen different locations. I know there's one on Robson further down from here, so I definitely want to go and give them a try, or I could just come here and get it. If I'm feeling like different things, I could just come here and get it. That was really tasty, oh my gosh. Not only is it really warm, it's also windy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a great day for filming. So in just a couple of minutes, we're gonna be going on a kitchen tour inside to see how this all works, how the system works. So come on with us and uh, let's check it out. So I'm at the back and you can see here, there are like shelves behind me and stuff. And this is where they basically have different labels and whatnot for all the different kitchens that are part of Club Kitchen. So you can just come here and pick up your order. You don't have to go from one place to the other. This appears to be sort of a hub where you would pick up your food. What we've done is, is build out a space that restaurants can come into and just start cooking. They can make changes if they want to and some have and we'll see some of the kitchens where they have made changes. But for most, Western style food, this equipment that we've got here as well as the infrastructure is enough to get rolling and, and start selling food in a very short turnaround. 
Right now we're just ordering our food on our phones. So this is actually gonna be on John's phone because he was actually doing the order while we were waiting to go in for the tour. So we're just gonna see what we end up grabbing. We did get a credit. I'm just gonna disclose up front that we did get a $50 credit as VIPs to come to this event. So thank you so much to Club Kitchen and the team for having us here. But we're gonna see what they have on the menu and see what tickles our fancy. <laughs> so while John does all the hunter gathering, ordering from Club Kitchen, I wanted to point out that we did get a nice little swag bag which is super cool the website's here clubkitchen.ca if you're ever interested in checking out what they have to eat I always get what I want I mean they're not wrong <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside oh this is useful for a day like today where it's you know windy and very bright which I'm not complaining it's usually raining in Vancouver so I'll take the Sun just a little explanation of what they've got on their menu and we're actually ordering from them I believe I'm excited to try this when we were doing the tour they said that I believe it was this space in particular had brought in 200 mangoes just for today because it's like the grand opening slash ribbon cutting so 200 mangoes that is a lot of mangoes and they're not they're not playing around they're doing everything fresh which is awesome Barbarella they were one of the first ones that I started following on Instagram they included this sticker sheet which is super cute but they also have these really cool bags on the shelves one of the things on it was like not another flying saucer it was so funny I love how creative they are not just with their pizza but also their merch is really cool so I'm hoping that you can get merch from them that would be, be really really cool and then there's a little bottle opener here from Club Kitchen and then the smart thing about this is if you're hungry they have a QR code so you can just scan this and order your your cares away so much food he doesn't look ready or maybe he is I'm not sure we are gonna try a whole bunch of different kinds of food obviously we've tried a few different places already I'm gonna list everything that we ordered from in the description below so if I don't mention it I'm sorry but I will do my best not all the bags have their names and stuff on them or if they do they're not in the easiest places to spot but I will try my best also shout out to John he's like He's helping me out with this, so I really appreciate it. But he's getting fed in exchange. Hui Lao Shan. I'm so, so, I'm probably butchering a lot of these names. I'm gonna call this a beverage, but it low key looks like a dessert. And I believe these are the folks that brought in like the 200 mangoes for just today. So really, really cool to see that you get a really massive drink. <laughs> Was this one size? No, it's the large. Okay, so this is the large size uh, of their drinks. And then we also ordered from some other places. We tried Chirpy Hut when we first got here, and I really like their chicken. And Chirpy Hut has some really cute bags, so I'm... Um, and more chicken. And more chicken. <laughs> I love their packaging. I love the yellow branding. It's so cute. Look at this. Look at the chicken. You know, I almost feel bad for eating this. I don't. Yes, we are not vegetarian or vegan, so if you, if you don't like meat, then I have some bad news for you. The next, like, 8 to 10 minutes is going to consist of eating a lot of meat. Most of these guys gave us, like, recyclable packaging, so, like, a lot of this looks like it can be thrown in the compost for the most part. Look at the Chirpy Hut bag. Like, this is the perfect lunch bag. This is so cute. Also, like, what, what's happening here? He's holding one of his dead brethren. I love this because it kind of, it's got that shaved ice vibe to it. Mango on the top. I'm so sorry, I am distracted. I've now seen two corgis today and there's a corgi on the grass five meters from us. I'm gonna lose my mind. This is really nice. I would actually have this as a dessert. I could see how this would be really refreshing if you were like gonna go on a walk down to, in downtown Vancouver and you wanted something to enjoy. This is really, really nice. Yeah, I like that. That's really, really nice. What on earth is that? Okay, so just so we're clear, John just kind of ordered whatever. Look at this. Oh my gosh. What is happening here? So what is this? Black, like charcoal wings? That's really cool. I didn't know this was a thing. Usually when I see stuff like this, when it's like really dark, I'm like, they burned it. I have never seen wings like this before. First of all, they smell incredible. Are you kidding me right now? Like, oh my God, this is really good. I hate using the word umami, but this is like an umami bomb. It is so, so good. What the hell? This is delicious. And that taste is so unique. I haven't really had anything that tasted like that before. Mmm. Okay, so it's actually their garlic flavor, according to John. But yeah, now I can taste it. But it's so savory. Holy cow. Those are the kind of wings you get when you've had a good day or a bad day. I'm done. I could eat like three of like three orders of these and I'd be happy.
the wings are so far my favorite. It's like six o'clock and it's sweltering out here. This actually might be my favorite. I don't know now, I'm not sure. Another order from a place that is based in New West or has a location in New West. Dacasi and Dragon Bowl, I believe, are also like just basically linked up. I think Dacasi in New West is now going by the name Dragon Bowl, but either way, you can order Dacasi drinks here and you can order food from Dragon Bowl, which is so good. Spicy shrimp bowl, you said, right? Yes. Look at the shrimp. Oh, heck yeah. I actually saw them giving out samples of shrimp earlier and I was like, those shrimp look so good. But I was trying to save myself for this moment because <laughs> I wanted to try it all as much as possible. Mm. Oh, wow. The flavor on that's interesting. I haven't actually had a chance to go to Dragon Bowl. I'm kind of mad at myself that I'm only trying this now. This is so good. I don't know what they did with the shrimp. It's very savory, nice and plump and juicy. Oh, but it's hot. <laughs> It's dermatitis season, guys, because we're going in from spring to summer. So I am having like so many different reactions. How at least my skin is. This reminds me of mango sticky rice. This is really, really nice. This is what I wish my mango sticky rice turned out to taste like when I made it a few weeks ago. <laughs> So we're gonna open up one of the orders from Barbarella. Now I said earlier that I really like Barbarella's packaging and I think they have some really quirky marketing stuff. And there are a couple of different orders here. Oh, wow. So this is like a pizza crust almost. This is inverted pizza. Yeah. Ooh, it's like soft. But it's a tiny pizza. My, I like this because it's like good for on the go. <laughs> That's so cool. Mm. Mm. What the heck, That's good. Their crust is really nice. I like the like slightly doughy crust really tasty but what i like about this is you can taste all the different elements in the pizza that's definitely something i would reorder again if you're on the go and you just need something quick to eat that's this is great basil is so fresh in this the cheese what the heck man got some really fresh cheese if there was a barbarella near me we'd be in really big trouble so i think we've tried pretty much everything except for the pizza how many wings are left just two more for you. Mm. Just gonna take a brief break for wings and we'll take a look at the pizza in a sec, y'all. One sec. Okay, sorry. I had to take a break from eating on camera. That makes any sense. So the last thing we have is this pizza from Barbarella, which we've like, unfortunately just, the box is all messy, but hey, that's what happens when you eat. I can't stop drinking this. It's so good. This is the pizza. Looks really, really yummy. This is a nice like individual size or if you're just wanting to snack with friends, it's a really good size. Let's give this bad boy a try. So I believe this had all sorts of things on it, but it, it was really calling my name because it had the red onions, it had some chicken, it's got the cheese obviously. I'm lactose intolerant, but just because you're lactose intolerant, honey, doesn't mean don't eat the cheese. Fresh tomatoes, a little cherry tomatoes. So let's, let's go ahead and dig in. I really like Barbarella's pizzas. I like that you can taste all the components. <laughs> I really need to like figure out where Barbarella's like main operations are. But if you happen to live near Club Kitchen, you should totally order them, it's so good. All right, we have a bunch of food that we still need to eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then just give you a couple more remarks before we end the video to tell you a bit about everything you need to know about Club Kitchen. So you can order their food and have an amazing experience like we did. Be right back. Okay, we're back. First of all, a big shout out to Club Kitchen for inviting us and for allowing us to experience the different kinds of foods that are available at this sort of one-stop shop, one-stop hub. It was really cool to see how all the kitchens worked and how everything functioned. I was really impressed with how, you know, they were able to take the space and make it work to their needs. One of the cool things about Club Kitchen too is that they can still focus they being you know the restaurants they can take the takeout portion out of their regular restaurant operations and your regular restaurant or your your first restaurant perhaps that you opened you can focus on the dine-in aspect and then with club kitchen you can focus on the to-go or doordash or skip or fantuan delivery aspect of it so i think it's a really smart and interesting model john described it a little bit like a like a like a hall like a food hall or like a food court but what i i love about it is that you can just order from one space and pay one delivery fee which is insane if you have people coming over and and 
you know, there are five or six of you and everybody wants something different and they're all groaning because we have to all order from the same pizza place that only half of us like, at least with the club kitchen option, there are different things that you can order. If you're thinking of picking up your orders and you order from five or six different places, just make sure you have a big bag for everything because poor John came out like, I, I was impressed that he didn't have things fall out of his hands. Um, out of his arms especially because it was so windy so that is something to be mindful of if you're going to order from like different places they do not come in just one bag they come in each store's packaging now i don't know if that's something they're going to look at in the future or if that is an option when you order if you can just have everything put into one bag but right now because of the you know we went to the back and saw how the system sort of worked with sorting and, and shelving it looks like everything is packaged individually and also when we went into the kitchens everything was also being packaged into bags by each individual kitchen waste actually in in the restaurant industry especially with you know takeout containers and plastic cups and whatnot. I know that's been a huge thing for a while, so it would be nice to have a little bit less packaging involved, but I totally get that each brand wants to showcase what they're all about. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. We are going to be doing some gaming and just a heads up that my schedule will be changing. So initially I was putting out videos from Wednesday, uh, on Wednesdays and Fridays. Um, 10 a.m. PST on both days, but I'm gonna be bringing that back down to once a week So there's a once a week guaranteed video that will be coming out every Friday at 10 a.m Pacific Standard Time and that schedule starts as of this week So this is the first Friday that I'm just doing, you know, obviously the one video I didn't shoot anything for Wednesday because I was sick. This will be the first week of the new schedule I figured I was gonna start it next week, but you know because I missed Wednesday might as well have just taken the L this week, taken the break, and, and given myself a chance to rest. But otherwise, thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!